John Philip Sousa, also known as the March King, was a great American composer, bandmaster, and conductor of the late Romantic era. Sousa was well known for his American military and patriotic marches. John Philip Sousa is the composer of the official National March of the United States, the Stars and Stripes Forever. John Philip Sousa was born in Washington, D.C. on November 6, 1854 to Antonio de Sousa and Maria Elizabeth Trinkhaus. John's father was a trombonist in the U.S. Marine Band. He was born in Spain of Portuguese parents. John's mother was born in Bavaria. At age six, John Philip Sousa attended evening classes at Esputa Conservatory of Music, where he studied singing, the violin, piano, flute, and several brass instruments. Sousa was found to have absolute or perfect pitch, or the ability of a person to identify or recreate a musical note without an external source for pitch. At the age of 11, Sousa organized an adult quadrille orchestra. When John was 13 years old, his father decided to enlist John in the United States Marine Corps in order to keep him from running away with a circus band. During his early Marine Band years, Sousa learned to play all of the woodwind instruments. Sousa performed professionally as a civilian violinist with several Washington theater orchestras. Sousa most likely also taught at the Esputa Conservatory. Throughout all of this, Sousa decided to give music composition a try. He studied with George Felix Benkert, a Washington composer and conductor, and played the violin in Benkert's chamber orchestra. After leaving the United States Marine Corps Band at the age of 20, Sousa continued his endeavors in music. He performed as a violinist and in string quartets. Sousa traveled with various music and theater groups for which he was the conductor and composer. On December 30, 1879, Sousa married Jane Van Middlesworth Bellis, a young understudy from the company that he was working with at the time. Throughout this time, Sousa had many accomplishments and successful compositions. His accomplishments impressed the Marine Corps officials and he was appointed the 14th conductor of the U.S. Marine Band in 1880. During the next 12 years, he transformed the band into the finest military band in America. He composed new marches and transcribed classical works to expand the band's limited repertoire. Sousa went on two national tours throughout the last two seasons with the military band. Sousa led the president's own band under five presidents, from Rutherford B. Hayes to Benjamin Harrison. After he left, Sousa created his own band called Sousa's Band. Sousa's Band played at two inaugural balls, including James Garfield in 1881 and Benjamin Harrison in 1889. Sousa's Band made tours throughout North America, Europe, and then throughout the world. The last concerts were held at Atlantic City's Steel Pier in September 1931. Meanwhile, the band had begun to give radio concerts, which continued until Sousa's death in 1932. Sousa died of heart failure at the age of 77 at approximately 1.30 in the morning on March 6, 1932 in his room on the 14th floor of the Abraham Lincoln Hotel in Reading, Pennsylvania. He had conducted a rehearsal of Stars and Stripes Forever earlier that day with Ringgold Band. He is buried in Washington, D.C.'s Congressional Cemetery. Sousa was one of the most well-known and influential conductors of his time. Sousa's band was regarded as the foremost ensemble of its kind during an era known as the Golden Age of Bands. Sousa had numbers ranging from 43 to 73 musicians. The band was completely self-financing and traveled exclusively by rail and ship. During the band's 40-year history, it presented over 15,200 concerts. Sousa had a huge impact on the American band movement. Sousa composed many popular pieces that are still played by bands everywhere today. Sousa wrote over 136 marches. Since the golden age of bands, marching band has been popular and is offered in many high schools and universities across the United States. Without the influence of Sousa, this most likely would not have been the case.
The American March genre would not have been the same today without the influence of John Philip Sousa, the March King.